All right, this uh, algebra lesson is going to look at uh, notation of functions. So when a function f contains the ordered pair x, y, then instead of writing uh, x, we're going to write y equals f of x, or function of input x, as we'll see in just a minute. So what's the point with function notation? Why is it so important? Well, sometimes you have three different uh, scenarios all using the same starting amount and we don't want to use the generic uh, use of just x and just y to represent the function because we want to maybe uh, differentiate between uh, the three. So here you have uh, three possibilities for population growth 100,000, 100,000 plus 3,000 x and then 100,000 times 1.02 to the x based on constant, linear, and exponential growth. And so because p could mean each of the three situations, we could name the functions to make it easier to understand. So possibility one, instead of using p, we're going to use c of x, c for constant. For possibility two, we're going to use l of x for linear. Possibility three, we're going to use e of x for exponential. So what is f of x notation or function notation? It's a way of writing functions. We read that f of x. It's also read function of input x. In fact, I like that one the best because it shows you that you have to input x for um, the right side or the left side, depending on where the x is. But f can be anything which describes the function. And so if I have basically the example of f of x is 5x minus 9. What I need to do here is take the 2 and input it in for x. So I'm doing 5 times 2 minus 19 and I get negative 9. So f of 2 would be negative 9. And so I, this is just a way to show that. This is just a general formula. This has, doesn't have something specific in mind. So I'm just going to use f to stand for function. And so I'm just substituting 2 for x, and you can see the work there. It gets you negative 9. Use the three functions given earlier for population model to find e of 10, l of 10, and c of 10, and explain what the results mean in the context of the population situation. So what I'm going to do here is show you the three different uh, scenarios. So if I want e of 10, It's going to equal 100,000 times 1.2 to the tenth power. If I want L of 10, I have to do 100,000 plus 3,000 times 10. And C of 10, <laughs> well, it's 100,000 basically zero, so there's nothing really to do there. And so, oh, sorry about that. 2% increase, so that should be 1.02, but basically I would calculate then uh, each of those three and I would get an exponential population, a linear population, and then a constant population. So possibility two, we use the linear function L of x is 100,000 plus 3,000 x. And I could answer this question according to the model in how many years will the population reach 150,000? So is that giving me the input or the output? Well, it's giving me the output. It's saying when is f of x going to be 150,000? So I would be solving this. And so I would solve that by taking away 100,000 from both sides. So I'd have 50,000 equals 3,000x. Divide by 3,000, and the result is about 16.7. So sometimes the input is given, and sometimes the output is given. But using different uh, variables to represent function language is very important. So in this example, in this uh, lesson, we used e and l to represent exponential and linear. 
you could use a to represent absolute value you could use s to represent squaring you can basically pick whatever you want and then you know exactly what the function is doing that's it thanks for watching